Hey guys, it's Kaler. Welcome to the YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the brand new update for Adobe XD, the March 2020 update. Pretty much every month, Adobe XD rolls out an update, and I like to cover that here on the channel since I make a lot of Adobe XD tutorials and related content. So let's go ahead and take a look at this month's new features. The first new feature we have this month is audio playback. And this is gonna let us select an audio file to be played back to us in response to a trigger. So here I have a question, what is today? And then I have Wednesday and Thursday. And this is a component with the wrong and correct states. So if it's wrong, it'll change to that. If it's correct, it'll change to that. So we're going to go to the prototype tab with Wednesday selected. I'm going to set a interaction. So I'm going to select the blue icon here and I'm going to set this as tap. It's going to be auto animating and I want to choose the correct state. I'm going to do this for Thursday as well. So tap auto animate and this time I'm going to select the wrong state. And then I'm also going to add another action. So down here at the bottom, I'm going to select the plus and from the drop down, I'm going to select audio playback and then I'm going to select choose file. So I already have two in here. If you'd like to add a new one, you can add a new file, but I'm going to select beep.mp3. And then for Wednesday, since that is correct, I'm going to add an audio playback for that. And then when we hit the live preview, we have this. It is Wednesday, my dudes. So that's just one way in which you can use audio playback in your prototyping. Let me know what you guys think of this feature down in the comments below. Next up is multiple actions on tap trigger. We've had this before, but now it's allowing us to have our transitional actions such as transition, auto animate, overlay, and also now a non-transitional action such as audio playback and speech playback. So that's just implementing that with the new audio playback feature. We also have some sharing improvements. Recipients of a privately shared link can now reshare with others while preserving the read only permission, which is a nice feature to have as well. The third new feature we have is anchor links. So let's go ahead and take a look at that one right now. Anchor links are adding a new action to allow us to jump to specific points on the same artboard. So here I have the design from the recent series I did, Design Build Launch. I'll have a link for that on the screen if you want to check it out now. And in this design we created here on the left, the links are scrolling to different spots on this page, which is perfect for this new feature. So if I select one of these links here in the top left and go to the prototype tab, You'll notice that I have its position set to fixed, so it's gonna stay in place. But now I can drag out a wire to any of the elements and just drop it there. And it's going to add the action of scroll to. So when we select this link, it's gonna scroll us to this section. And one thing here I have set is an offset. And you can access here by Y offset and set this to whatever you would like. So by default, this is going to be set to zero. And when you hit the live preview and you select this link, it's going to put the top of this element to the top of the artboard. In this case, I want some space there. So I'm going to add a little bit of offset. So negative 100. So we hit the live preview. And if I select the digital designer and developer, it's going to scroll to that section here in my design. And I can go through and prototype this for each one of these links and adjusting this offset as large as I would like it. So now we have a much higher offset and when I select that, you'll see the space here is much larger. So that is anchor links in Adobe XD. And the last final update we have this month is a shortcut for resizing the area text to fit the content. This is a great feature. It just allows you to select a text area and double click on the bottom anchor and it will size that area to fit the content. This one is a great one when you're working with text and you're changing it in and out. And so these lines of text will get longer or shorter and you can just simply double click on this bottom anchor and it snaps it right to there. Instead of dragging it by hand, figuring out where it disappears and then kind of guesstimating where the bottom is. So that's a really great addition to the program as well. And with that, that is all five of the new features for Adobe XD in the March 2020 update. If you'd like to check out all these features in this list here from Adobe, I will link it down in the description as well as the blog post from Adobe covering all of these new updates as well. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found this coverage of this update helpful. Subscribe for more design related content and as always, have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one.